Well, hi there, my name's Mark. I'm Tom. And we're here with another Saturn product review. Ah, we've some really good stuff today. Yeah, we've got uh, five things for you today. The first one we're going to talk about is Stop the Press. A nice bit of parlour magic. This is from Martin Lewis. Yes. People say, oh, there's always card tricks, there's always clothes and magic. This is mm. really nice. Something for parlour. Bit of parlour. Um, the good thing is it's self-working as well. Self-working, you've just performed it on me. Rather than, mm -hmm. rather than watch a trailer, I had a live performance. Now, I could work out how it was done because it's a very simple method, but mm -hmm. it's I still enjoyed it. No. I still really enjoyed it. Um, the convincers are all there yeah. during the routine. Um, we'll, we'll put bits of the trailer up on the screen, but if you watch the trailer with all the audio and everything, you basically see what's going on. You rip the paper up. You do? Uh, you it's an inquiry. It's a, it's a small... Mm -hmm. What are they called? That's a tab. That's a broadsheet. Uh, that's a tabloid. It's American even. tabloid, isn't it? It's these ones. They're like the Inquirer, the Forty and Times. All you sort of... Funny newspapers yes. are this one. So uh, as you said to me, so there's so much fake press, mm -hmm. fake newspapers, we're going to use a real one, one we can trust, we're going to mm -hmm. use the Inquirer. And I just laughed from that moment onwards. That um, is actually his line in the trailer. So he's, he's up the, the patter sort of fake news on Facebook and things, it's all there. Uh, so it's relevant to today's yeah. audience as well, which, which is good. And then uh, you uh, tear uh, out the middle page of the Inquiry, pass yeah. the Inquiry to me, I can read it if I wanted to, rip it, it up if I wanted to. Yeah, you rip it up. You rip it up fairly, really fairly, there's yeah. no, you just, you, just, you just rip it up. And um, you then pass me the bits of paper. They and deal, deal them, they stop whenever they want. Yeah. Uh, and you um, put their piece to one side, you show them uh, a selection of random bits of headlines. Funny headlines, because they are funny, they're in the Inquiry. That are on the piece of paper. And then you just passed it to me, didn't you? You said, right, read any um, yeah. headline off there. Off so there. I did, and then your prediction was there, mm -hmm. and it matched it perfectly. Yeah. One prediction, one envelope. Mm -hmm. No outs. No. Self-working. Self-working. Simple method. Yeah, uh, plays no, big, pack small. No pressure on it. And me. the best bit, Mark, go on, let's, let me guess. Though I tried to guess this, I was like, right, it's parlor magic. This plays big, packs small, very good creator, uses modern stuff. It's going to be about 30 quid, I thought. Yeah, no, it's like 18 pounds something. 18 pounds, <laughs> because, but, but there is a reason for that. The instructions are free. The instructions are free, and you get how many performances? You, you get 12 18? performances. 12 for your 18 pounds, that's really not bad. Mm. So uh, I'm trying to work that out, it's about £1.50? No, not even that. Mm. It's obviously more than a pound. Well, not, yeah, it's just like, it's just like £1.50, isn't it? Okay. Just over one see, that's what I say. Uh, that's nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. No, it's say. not meant close up, it's not meant to be the table hopping every table. It's something you do in a parlour or stand up show. Yeah. If you're looking to add something to a parlour show or to even create a parlour show, it can be nervous creating a parlour show, thinking, what on earth am I going to do? Is it going to be difficult? This is about as easy as it comes. Yeah, perfect. There's a couple and, of other things uh, I'd suggest, but um, that's, that's definitely throw it in there. If you are trying to create a parlour show, if you do close up, you do house parties, and you think, oh, how can I, how can I increase my. Uh, my money. Or make you more attractive than the other yeah. close-up magician or, that's or there. You stand up, whack on a, a 20 minute parlour show, you can have so much fun. And, we've said this before, you can be a great close-up magician and they'll remember it, but if you make the whole room laugh at once and you put on a show for everybody, mm -hmm. That's what they remember. They remember how they felt at that time. Uh, we both do it, so do give us a call. We can recommend some fantastic products, um, whatever your style, because we have a very different style and nice to get to work. So, really, really impressed yeah. with this. We did um, say with this, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to be limited to just saying the one magazine, you could have two or three magazines yeah. all, all set all up ready, ready to, go, to go. So they can pick one. So whichever one they pick, you just rip the middle pages out of that, and away you go uh, with an alleged choice as well. Yeah, uh, it's also very clever because although it's the Inquirer that you use and that the, the newspaper articles are adult fiends, there's nothing offensive. No. There's things like someone else, someone needs a new liver, someone needs, someone is finally human or mm -hmm. aliens tried to get in my brain, that sort of thing. So it's mm -hmm. all adult fiends but never offensive and, and will play for any age. No. So that's a really good one uh, from Martin Lewis. Um, so you should check that out. Nice work, Martin. Yeah. Uh, the next one we come along onto the table is the, uh, the Casino, Casino Car Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, so it's we're not brand new. <laughs> it? It's been out for a few years. It's been out for a few years, and I saw it many years ago when it was released, and loved it, and nearly picked it up. Mm -hmm. I then came into the shop today, and was up. We we're upstairs. You've been in the shop. The shop's downstairs. This is upstairs. And I came up for someone and saw it, and instantly recognised it, and said to Mark, "Oh, wasn't this brilliant?" And you said, "I don't think it's going to be that good. Let's have a look." Well, I was right. <laughs> it may not. You may not like it. It may not suit you. For me. It's absolutely. Well, you brilliant. do casinos. I do you casinos. Um, also, I love joker cards and telling mm -hmm. stories. I love poker chips. Um, it kind of goes with the whole 
street thief gambler mm. image that I was trying to get across. Um, I must admit, one of the things I didn't like about it was the um, wallet thing that they give you with it. Uh, which we talked about actually and said actually most magicians will have a certain type of wallet yeah. which uh, they, they've given you something that, that would, would be a lot better will, will do use. what it needs to do and keeps the cost down mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't bother me like you said you may want to switch it out mm -hmm. for something else the trick itself works really well works yeah, every time it, having looked at so, it again I thought yeah. a load of jokers are shown they're all they're all different jokers all very nicely drawn mm -hmm. they've all got the casino backs these are all casinos in Vegas that have gone bust um, they can then pick anyone, because yep. you've handed out yeah, a you spread them out on the table, they point to anyone fairly. They're, they're already holding a, a poker chip in their hand or in their mm -hmm. pocket out of sight. When they turn their card over, there's obviously the name of the casino on the back. Which and you've already found those cards to show them yep. that they're all different. They then, of course, you can see where this is going, the, the chip that they've got matches the card that they've picked. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, nice effect, get a good reaction. Mm -hmm. You then pick up the cards, and so I say, what? Let's just play poker. Let's play around at poker. Let me show you how these casinos closed. And of course, they think you're crazy because you're using ten jokers. Yeah. So you deal out <laughs> the five cards. They can then cut the decks themselves. They then deal out the hands. Yeah. Then you say, right, I'm, I'm good at this. I guarantee you, you're gonna have five of a kind. Of course, they laugh because they've got five jokers. You say, I've got five of a kind as well. When you turn yours over, it's uh, yeah, all spades. All spades. Now you could do it the other way around to make them win, mm -hmm. which is how I would do it. I would um, I'd say, obviously I've got five of cards, I've got five jokers. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can change your luck, let's see if we can make you lucky, let's see if we can do something. I'd, I'd prefer it if they- It is better if they if win, they actually, if you yeah. think about it. Rather than that, oh, look at me, Clever. there's too much of that. Yeah. Um, but that's it, and it's such a good trick. Yep. I know I can see you thinking now, Mark, you're like, oh, okay, this is actually better than I thought. No, you have, you sort of turned me when you were convincing me when we were watching it. Yeah. Uh, and it's only 27.65, so again, it's reasonably priced. You get the poker chip, get the cards. So, yeah, beautiful, yeah, beautiful, good. and it's so easy. Yeah. I'm going to take it home and do it tonight. Yeah. So there we go. Greg Wilson and Steve Gore. Yeah, really nice. Uh, really with nice. The really. Casino Com. Right. Next one, moving along. Um, now I can't say this, and it, in fact, we're like that's sort of almost ready, mate. You have to buy yourself a magazine, by the way, for this. You don't get the magazine with it. Uh, cost a pound. Cost a pound. Yeah. Okay, so pound, get that going. That's ready to go. Uh, this is ready to go. Uh, I can't say this. Sherlock Coin. Sherlock Coin. Yeah, I think probably. Is uh, it not Sherlock Coin in? Because that would make more sense. Sherlock. There's no C, is it? Sherlock in. Sherlock in. But Sherlock in's already. Anyway, this is signed card. I've got no idea why they call it that anyway. <laughs> signed because there's. What's it going to do with Sherlock? The, the signed card <laughs> appears. Inside the deck, the deck, um, similar to on top of the sign card, similar to in a flash, the way that a sign card finds sign if in a flash, sign coin finds a sign card by burning through the deck. Fantastic mm -hmm. trick, mm -hmm. brilliant. This is very, very, very similar, but without the flash, just more of a mystery to it. That's right. You pick, you, you put the coin on top of the box, pick it up, little magicians. Whatever. Always a blow. Yeah, or blow, or a bit of smoke maybe. Oh, got, a bit of smoke. If you've got one of those. A bit of smoke, yeah. yeah if you've got one That's of those. It. <laughs> uh, and the coin's gone. Uh, and you can then uh, empty the cards out of the box, um, lift up, and there, a card's been selected. Yeah, obviously it's signed. signed. And um, of course the coin ends up on top of the signed card. A uh, signed coin as well, it can be. Signed coin on top of the signed card. Uh, simple, simple. Now I've comp I compared this to Inner Flash, but it's a very different trick. Inner Flash mm -hmm. is very boom, big ball, but everyone around the table looks as a nice finisher, mm -hmm. especially as you destroy half the cards. Mm -hmm. This is just very skillful, isn't it? This mm -hmm. makes you look very skillful. Or you can do couples, one side is a card, one side is a coin. Mm -hmm. uh, when in fair trick, they can go through together, they can then keep them. Um, you can do other tricks with it as well because the whole deck isn't gimmicked, so you can do other tricks. Yes, yeah, so you can do your normal, normal ambitious card or working repertoire, um, and so uh, you can use it for other things. So you don't have to worry that it's just a one-trick pony deck. They don't teach you any extra tricks with the uh, the deck, but but uh, it's a normal deck of cards. At least there's uh, there's quite a few cards. Uh, so it's uh, I think so. The half the deck is normal. So you can Anthony, Stan, and Thomas certainly do other things. Really. <laughs> Whoever. This, this one is uh, it's ready made, so there's no yeah. arts and crafts. Everything you need comes in the box. Um, it's really well made. How much is it? 
32.26. So again, ready-made to go. Bicycle stock. We keep emphasising ready-made because there's um, certain tricks that are released that you pay easily that much and you have to spend yeah, ages no, these are all really good. with a Stanley knife or craft knife sticking, gluing stuff. Also, um, another, pet, to go. another pet hate of ours. This one is packaged perfectly. They easily could have put this in a box that cost a lot of money to ship or is just annoying to ship. Um, I thought about this as well. When it costs a lot of money to ship because it's big, you have to be in to sign for it as well. Mm -hmm. So it means you can wait two days. This, they'll just post for your letterbox. So as long as it's not signed for, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the good thing as well, it's all shrink wrapped, so it's obviously all been... Uh, Perfectly well checked. Factory... Uh, Quality check. They are blue the, bicycles as well. I do wonder how they've managed to do that. They've obviously sealed it themselves, yeah. actually, but it's yeah, all yeah. Uh, sealed up. We said a trick that does that. <laughs> <laughs> but they've gone to the trouble of sealing the box, yeah, which they, nice. they needn't have done. Um, it's funny, actually. Uh, Matthew Wright, with his visions, um, that was all factory sealed as well. I think that did come pre-printed there, which moves us on to this one that we're going to talk about now, which yeah. again comes pre-printed. On visions, though, on the last show we did, we talked about visions, mm -hmm. and you said that you were going to, you got it, you liked it, you went and we were going to work it. Mm -hmm. Have you worked it? I have. I um, thought you had. I've, I've had to make a slight uh, amendment to it. Um, the uh, the certain things on the cards, uh, which uh, on some of the forums. Uh, people have said were a little bit difficult to read. So now, I could stand here in normal light like now and do the trick no problem at all as long as I've got my glasses on. But in a banquet hall? But I went into, the first time I went to do it, I couldn't do it uh, because it was um, disco dim. Dis so disco it dim? It wasn't dark. Sounds like one of your kids' parties. Yeah. Disco dim. But you know what I mean? It, yeah. wasn't, uh, it wasn't dark in the room, but it was certainly dark enough that it was you know, not disco normal. Disco dim and down at the dinosaur. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see properly, so I couldn't do it. Uh, but I've actually, uh, if you have got visions, uh, if you Google a 0.7 millimeter paint pen, uh, very that, precise, that will uh, hopefully give you some results. Which uh, <coughs> I use one of those and solve my problem. If not, give me a call and yeah, or an email or something good. if that doesn't make sense. But that should get you in the right place. Uh, less than three pounds, and uh, I've sorted it. Anyway, so moving on up. to uh, caught red-handed. Now, when I watched the trailer to this. Um, for a split second until I stopped and thought about it, it fooled me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I instantly came to a method and thought, it can't be that. Mm -hmm. um, but not only did it fool me, I really enjoyed it. And you know what I'm like, the minute that someone comes out with a pack of cards and goes, oh, magicians um, mark their cards, I'm instantly turned off. Mm -hmm. But this was good. It's quick. It's mm -hmm. visual. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't mind saying that because um, Daryl, Wayne Dobson, Jeff McBride, Oh, Doc Easton have all Doc said Easton how good it is, um, and it is, it is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you, you watch the video, it shows you a, a performance, then it shows you a, an overhead camera shot of a full performance. Yeah, an unedited performance uh, on the trailer, so perfect. You, so you just see it all. We uh, started that, I think. Uh, what you have to do, and uh, it is easy to do. Um, the Joker changing to red in the hand is really nice. So nice. Uh, the way when, it did it, when they did it, I said to you, is that... And you're like, yeah, so that's the best handling yeah. of that I've ever seen. Yeah, so that was really Fantastic good. Fantastic product. Uh, and then the rest of the handling is quite simple. The trailer does say cards uh, can be examined. At the uh, moment it says that. Uh, they did change it, but then our system automatically updates. So I put a different video on there where that didn't say that. Uh, but then when it auto-updated, it changed it back again. It's just one of those things with an automated system like we've got. But it does say below the ad copy, all the cards can't be examined. What it means is, cards can be examined but it doesn't say no, all, of, all of the cards can be so. examined and the creator felt that that was a bit misleading yeah. so they did publish another video the way to look at it is the cards that they examine can be examined yeah. all, the cards, that, daft, all the cards they're holding at the end can be examined they, they end clean and when you look at it at the end when he spreads all the cards in his hand with all the numbers and then he turns a, a few of his up as well yeah. You know, to all intents and purposes, yeah, yeah. you feel that the cards have been shown. Properly. The only reason that's had to be put on the um, put on the trailer is because some people will sit uh, on their computers and and try and start a discussion mm. about it rather than going out and trying it. Um, or misleading ad copy because they would say a beginner could look at it and say, well, it says their cards can be examined. Yeah. Said, yeah, but it doesn't say all of the cards, and they'll think that was a. Uh, a bit misleading, yeah. which technically, yes, you could look at that and say it's misleading, which is why I put that little footnote on there. Um, and we're just waiting for the wholesaler to update their video, in which case that, but, that, I mean, would, that would check disappear out, in due course. Check out the video. I always do this in, in the trust that you've got the video. <laughs> check out the video. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really, really, really visual, isn't it? Um, I'm not going to do it because it doesn't suit me. 
but I would love to watch someone do it live. Yeah, I, when you say it doesn't suit you, you like doing the, all the casino yeah. thing and whatever, but you could say, you, you know, cheats, they use mark cards. I could, no, I could make it suit me. So it could actually yeah, it could make it. Just, This uh, is not a natural choice for me. Yeah. Um, but I would love to see someone perform it. I think it's got so much passive, so much by play. Mm -hmm. um, and the reactions on it, you can tell they're genuine as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it got me, I was like, okay, uh, stop. <laughs> um, carry on. Yeah. So. Really nice. So really cool. Cool. And that one is uh, 2308. And that's everything you need yeah. to know. No gluing, no sticking, no, no writing, no drawing. Already done. Really nice. So there's a bit of a trend coming on, which is good actually. Yes, this, this is a nice step in magic. Pre-made um, pre tricks and gimmicks yeah. ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, which brings us on to the last one. Ash paper. Uh, which again is sort of pretty much ready to go almost. Everything you need is in there. They could yeah, easily, they could easily say, "Can you need to go and buy this?" And they haven't. This is by the other brothers, mm -hmm. who I had the pleasure of seeing perform, or so did you, at Blackpool. Mm -hmm. um, some fantastic stuff on theirs now. This really is up my street. Mm -hmm. um, I have used it three times already since Blackpool. Um, I'm going to use it tonight, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's a remake of an old. Old, old, old theory, not theory, old thing, old premise, right? Um, where you set fire to a piece of paper and it leaves the outline of a pattern of a word or a residue or a residue, or residue or yeah. something. Um, well, it's the ash form. Actually, there was a trick downstairs that I was talking to you about. You remember that? Yes, one yeah, time? yeah, that one yeah. where you had to prepare the thing on a card and the flash paper's put over the top of it and it's burnt and it, re and it reveals. So it's the same kind of premise as that. In this version, the card is 100% clean. Yeah, you can use your business card. Um, um, I can't use my business cards, I found out, but if you've not got mm -hmm. a laminated business card, you can use a business card. Mm -hmm. Use a plate, um, that's what I've been mm -hmm. doing at restaurants, using one of their plates. Um, it burns, it's the, the it's so much more than you get in this. Like the, the, the paper that you get burns so slowly that you watch it. Um, it's not a quick burn, it burns slowly, it's strong, it's prominent. I've made some, I've had some learning curves with it. Um, the way that you have to do, if you don't, if you want a pattern to emerge, you have to make sure that it's a certain thickness, otherwise, it um, doesn't doesn't take or it gets moved with the heat. So do play around with it, but it does exactly what you need. Sim simple geometric shapes or yeah. numbers. I got far too cocky. I am um, um, uh, one of the ice hockey players. I'm a match night magician for the ice hockey. And one of the players left, and I tried to write thank you, and then his number, and it was just too yeah, intricate. Yeah, a bit tricky. Just too intricate. But then when I just did the number, it took mm. perfectly. Yeah. Um, I use ESP shapes for mine, so I use an ESP mm. routine um, using some a little bit of pre-show and a fantastic thing. So you get the flash paper with it. You also get the special something with it. Uh, you will need another item which you may have to go out and buy, but it'll cost you less than a pound to... Do you know what I've been using? What? I've, I've been using a fork. Really? Yeah. To put it on? Yeah. Good so good. I was sat in my, I sat in my I office. I just thought, actually, you could use a cotton bud. I was, I was going to yeah. use a cotton bud. I used a cotton bud the first time, but then I was, so I was trying to get into cut. Mm. Um, I had some forks that I'd been messing around trying a new fork bend out mm. on, and I was like... So you can mm. use anything. Cotton buds. Yeah. Cotton buds would do yeah, actually, actually, really a, well. a cotton bud would do it, actually. Yeah. As long as you're doing big, bold... Line. which you need to yeah. so yeah cotton buds are what we recommend cotton buds would be fine um, also look out for the other brothers they have got some great designs they're proper um, they're just really fun guys so yeah hopefully we'll get them on a lecture tour so we've got uh, ash paper there uh, which again look at the trailer no, it does what it says does what it says do um, play around with it uh, first um, just get to get to know the product it's uh, 2308 as well so uh, another good product out there from the other brothers They've also got their bear pen coming out very soon. Yeah, I've been playing around with that. Which um, is the other thing that we saw at Blackpool. I've not worked it yet, so I'm not going to say how great it is. Now, if I've tried it and it works, I've just not worked it yet. So I don't want to go and give it a raving review. Yeah, I've but, tried it. Uh, we will definitely, once we've got some actual yeah. usage out of it, yeah. we'll give it a go. The only reason I haven't used it is because I fell in love with this. Yeah. And it's very similar effect, isn't it? So. Oh yeah, we should mention about this actually, that the thing that's revealed it, uh, isn't a free choice, it's fair to say. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't think that you can just put the ash paper down, it's going to reveal no. whatever you think. You need preparation time. Um, but you can have prepared multiple ones, yes. uh, and if a selection, or whatever routine you choose to do with it, because it's more of a utility. Yeah, 100%. Uh, with the SP cards, there's only six outs. So uh, if you've got six bits of paper prepared, uh, then maybe a choice is made and you bring out a piece of paper, put it down, burn it, and then it would reveal the correct thing. Yeah. Uh, as long as you're set up in advance. So with it though, you have to. You can't. You have to set up dead full. You have to set these up in advance. You can't. You can't do it in the morning. 
You have to have it at least just a bit of time. All right, okay. Yeah, so you should I do it overnight. Yeah, I did one quite quickly and it worked so, okay. Yeah, uh, well, the good thing is when it burns as well, if they were to then touch it, it crumbles away. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, they they advise that you do it you do it overnight. Yeah. Um, but you can do more than one at once, so you can have more. Um, yeah. So the bear pen just takes that away. You can see. Yeah. So uh, there we go. Good bunch of products for really this show. Really good products. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So is that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so uh, that's it. Great, thanks for watching. Is there any news from us? We've got a couple of things. Yeah, we've got a couple of new line. things. The reason why we're here today is we are actually filming today, so there's two new things coming out probably within the next month. Yeah, I think we've got any more gossip. Kieran's obviously in America. Yeah, Kieran's in America so on tour. Uh, we're hoping to get Kieran involved on the show as well. Am I allowed to say congratulations to Mark Wannington? Oh yeah, because Mark Wannington, uh, friend yeah, of the shop, friend of the show, and a very good, very mm -hmm. good friend of mine. Uh, Mark Waddington got engaged. If you don't know Mark Waddington, the reason it's relevant is Mark Waddington ran the Blackpool Facebook group. Um, that's why most of you will know him. So congratulations to Mark and Beth who are now engaged. Yeah, cool. So how nice is that? Lovely. Oh. <laughs> Happy ending. Happy ending. And that's yeah. it. We'll go now. <laughs> right. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see, you next time. see you next time. Bye.